My brother's been fixing his van. He ripped the whole front end off on his other van backing out of the garage one day. So we're base clearing it. And I just sprayed that and he sprayed the bumper, which is in his neighbor's barn. He has a spray booth. Let's go over and, and uh, have a gander at it. There we are. What's that? There's a couple little things right there. Oh so, yeah, just very ever so slightly. Sand it out. We should. No, I'm not going to do it. Spend enough time on this. I it, it's a minivan. It'll be fine. On this thing. It's an everyday minivan. Show, show them where I fixed it. All right. So the video tell them, tell them what happened. So I was backing out of my garage to go work on our house, my dad's house, and uh, we had two vans. We had a minivan, two minivans, the red one and this black one you see here. So I'm backing out of my garage. And Elisa, had, my wife, had put the minivan, parked it outside the garage, which I never tell her to do, but she did it anyway. And what I did when I turned, I backed out to the, would see it backing out to the left, right? And I caught this on the red minivan and ripped the fascia right off the minivan. And I did this under here, have a look. You can see the repair, it was ripped from here all the way down to here and this was all stretched this was all warped out of shape from being stretched so i had to hit it with a heat gun and i welded it together i've never done it before and it was also it ripped it totally off and it screwed it up right here i don't know if you can see that on the camera by shining down you can see the dent right there because what it did here is that stayed and it folded it way out which left it dented yeah, I don't know if it shows up in the video or not. It's really hard to see. You gotta really look. But did you see it rip so this off? To, yeah, rip this totally off. I had to totally refab that out of plastic. And I'll tell you what, the plastic welders work really good. You just gotta be patient with them. I don't know. Have you seen me do any welding with it yet? Yeah, well, you're showing me how to weld with it. Does it really? It works really quite good. I got the cheapest one you can buy. And it works pretty good. I'm pretty impressive. got something going on right here. I don't know if that's going to peel there. Maybe a little dirt or something. It's going to stay. I'll just take take a little uh, if it screws up, I'll just touch it Take up. a little exacto knife or screwdriver and poke it and see if it's a bubble will burst and then just reshoot it. Are you putting another coat of color on this? No. So oh, this is going right to clear. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't hope that takes See, there's sand. I used 400 on this. You can see the sand marks. Yeah, what's happened is the the base has reacted with the filler or whatever in there. No, uh, that, 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 that last coat did that. I've had that happen, though, where it's over filler in the past. And it, because the fillers filler. are like... Filler. No? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. The filler's over here. Oh, okay. So filler I put in is right here. All this. And there's very little filler. Or that weld, where that weld is, uh -huh. it was really nasty. So I had to sand it and groove it all out and put in filler. And that was the hard part because the plastic sand's different than the filler and they both move. You know, like metal doesn't move as much as the Bondo. The Bondo moves and the metal stays behind, it takes a lot more. Well, this, the plastic goes. And so they both move when you sand at different different times. Yeah, there are different hardnesses yeah, too. Yeah, so it's really hard to get it flat. I was spent hours on it, putting more mud on it, sanding it out, trying to stay off the plastic. It was really kind of difficult. And the reason why you repaired this was because they're highly expensive? Is that, or was it just yeah, not available? Yeah, the dealer couldn't get me one. And the ones you get in the aftermarket come in a box all old oh, well, over. So they're basically garbage. We're ready for another coat next door. Okay. Look at that red. That's beautiful. Absolutely yeah, beautiful. All that so you can see it. Get some light on that. It's a beautiful red. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, it is. I love it. Do it again. Here, I'll hold it back. Keep it coming out? Yep. Oh, got my hand. Yep. I can let go? No. Nope. Let me hold that? No, I just tucked it in. I'm going to wait till the camera gets stuff. Ah, 
Actually, that's not bad. I might not body work that, Howard. Tell you what, this paint lays out nice. I like it. <laughs> I actually like that paint really well. Except what you just did was a no-no. <laughs> Going like this. Yeah. You got to go. Right. Well, it was just a little so what dry do you make of my, What do you make of my cheap-ass gun? Your Harbor Freight gun? Oh, I think it's all right. I don't have a vent undone. I don't know if this needs to be off or not. All right, let's do this. Let's put it in here. Clean it. See how it's kind of shiny? That'll flow out and dry a little flat and then the clear will go over. That's metallic black. I don't know if you can see the metallic. I don't know if it shows up in there or not. Yeah, this is the... Let's see if we can get some in the... Well, it's kind of dirty. Hey, I know what we're going to do. Hold this. All right, I want to see how I can lay this on where you get wrong. Yeah, that's the place to do it. In fact, maybe we ought to move it further away. Yeah, take it out there as far as you can. Yeah, that's good. That ought to do it, Howard. All right, I want to see how this... <laughs> Metal flag wagon! <laughs> we'll clear it, too. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. See how the clear flows, too, before you paint your thing. Oh, All right, that ought to do it. It came, he bought it. It's, I think it's a 73 Challenger. It had, he bought it, it had a 440 in it and the new process four speed, the 833, four speed and a 440. It was blue, blue interior. I remember when it was blue, yeah. Yep. And I now remember. we got a Viper V10, a Tremec T56, six speed, manual trans in it. He's got a Mosher eight and three quarter or eight and three yeah eight and three quarter rear axle i don't know his ratio i think it's a i don't remember if he did a 410 i can't remember the ratio i think he said it's a 410 but jeff will tell you when you see him and give you the right numbers sweet isn't it wow yeah what an amazing job on your hair yeah, that is nice. Almost looks like the diff in my Bel Air. It's an actual diff. You know, it's got the third member. Uh huh. It's like a nine inch. It's like a, basically a Ford nine inch is what it is. But it's a Chrysler eight and three quarter. And they're way expensive compared to a nine inch. Wow. They're crazy expensive. That's why everybody uses Ford nine inches. Because you, you, I mean, you've got a Chrysler that put a Ford nine inch in. <laughs> yeah, there's the interior. What his seat's gonna look like? It's been made. He had that custom made. Mm -hmm. Even this. Put that on it. You and custom. He was showing me the dash, the instrument cluster. I'll see if I can give you a sneak peek. All with modules, he said, so there won't be a ton of wiring. Where'd he go? Well, he might have been out here. Somebody just shut the door. And of course, the. Yeah. You got a nice. 410 in that? Okay, I was right then. <laughs> How you're going to be on YouTube? Yeah, well, that's going to be on YouTube. It's a project. They're supposed to look like they're a project. Question, so you get the right answers, Howard. What happened here, man? Don't put me in. What happened? Here, oh, it covers it. Super nice. A friend of mine, when I was in high school, bought a '73 Challenger, and I painted it this bright orange for him on a day like this in October, and the swarm of bugs came and landed in the so paint. Well, I'm still it. tacky. <laughs> I cleared my patio yesterday. And literally, I, I power washed it down within five minutes. Those black and red box. Oh, so that's bugs. what you were talking about. Yeah, we're, we're, I mean, they must have come out from underneath the siding. They were freaking everywhere. I'm blowing them off and then sprayed rain. You mean the, the ladybugs? No, no. No, they're box black. elder bugs. I haven't seen a box elder bug in years. Really?
Yeah, I think this will spin the tires. All right, so this is a stock 73 grill. Yeah. And these are what you had. These were water jet cut? Yeah. And this is just going to replace the inner part of that? Or? Yeah, or I might make just a whole new one. But... Uh-huh. Yeah, I like it. I like the way that's done. Looks super good. But then, you know, this one's closest to what what was. So this one. But what I'm going to try to do when I do it is try to make it... Uh, Replaceable. So if you wanted to change grills, yeah. Swap it out. Yeah, why not? Have some fun with it. Change it seasonally and then people say, go. oh, look at my new car. Right. <laughs> yeah. Metallic. Yeah, it's oh, there. Yeah, it is. Yep. All right, you ready? Yep. <laughs> We're gonna see. Let me stand down when. Yeah, when you, well, you'll, well, you'll also get a better shot of it. Whoa. Oh, that lays out thick. Am I it almost looks like water coming out. It really lays out, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. That looks really nice. <laughs> Let's see what rust looks like clear coat. <laughs> clear coat the rust right here. <laughs> Hope I'm not getting any of this on your camera. Clear coat the rust. Here, let me, yeah. You're going to put this on YouTube. The people are going to be just, you guys are nuts. You're painting clear coating rust. It's a rat trailer. Right? I, want, I want to just lay some on really heavy just All to right, see let how her it rip. goes. Yeah, see how it, that's what you get if you. Lay it too heavy, you get a yeah, fog. Yeah. Yep, I wanted to see how it Go did. lay it on the car. Go spray the car. Hold on, this is touching. Can you tape that up? Yeah, hold your camera. Here, just turn it off and All right, let her wrap. You know, that might not look bad for no body work, you know that? It's bubbly as hell. You need to put it on heavier, I think. You think? Yeah. I just don't want it to run. That's good. That's good. Because sometimes if you get it too heavy, yeah, it'll it, run and sag. Then you walk away, and ten minutes later, you got. Well, here I am, all masked up for COVID. Looks like you are too. <laughs> Going into the COVID room. <laughs> this is a COVID room. That's yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm going to stand back a bit so I don't get overspray on the camera. Yeah, this looks a little more difficult to paint than an old car. With all these little indentations and everything.
That nine dollar Herbert Freight gun does an amazing job. I'm impressed with it. So does the grill go down in that groove? What's that? The grill goes into that groove? Yeah. So, okay, so you don't see that. You don't see it. Man, that's looking good. Take much to make a run, does it? Uh -uh. It looks like it takes a while to pack up. I'm gonna touch where you don't see. I want to see how it feels. Yeah, it's still wet, sticking to my finger. painted any of this on, um, any of this. Well, just sand it, give it a 600 and buff when you're done. It's one thing nice with clear, you can sand the runs out, color you can. How many coats are you going to put on? Three. Yeah, I would call that good because your next coats will, you can get those places that look a little white. Uh, oh, it looks good. Let it fall out and see what happens. Let's go look at the van. Well, we haven't got any leaves stuck to it yet. It's still a little on the tacky side to shoot another coat, and I think the next coat could go on just slightly wider. Yeah, that run stayed. I don't know if that shows up in the video, but it's kind of milky looking that. That's why you don't want to get heavy runs like that. It's all the air bubbles in it, but the, the front, the metallic is just... Yeah, see, now that, that could be coated. It's almost too dry. It's, it's not tacky at all because it's here in the sun. That run is just like right to the point where you'd want to put another coat on it, but obviously we're not going to. We painted the spider rub on this side and it just fell off into the paint. That is coat number two and that looks like it'll probably flow out nicely. It's just slightly, slight, slight water. It actually looks really good. It flowed out nice. Yeah, well, you deal with that. Thing is, now that this is going to look so super nice, and you're going to have to wheel out and wax the rest of the van now to get it to match up. Put 
Call a good after four. Uh -huh. You're going to call a good after two. Uh -huh. See how it looks when you're done with the second. I'll make your decision. Yeah, I wouldn't clean the gun until you made that final decision. I've cleaned the gun and then it's like, oh, I wish I didn't. I want to spray something else. And so I wait to clean the gun until I'm totally happy. Just so you can see what kind of gun he's using that he paid nine dollars for. I'm, I'm totally impressed with that gun. I've spent a lot of money on guns and they don't. No, you're not bleeding. Yeah, the runs happen usually after you're done spraying and you come back to your second coat and that's especially with the coat you have Got a little dry area right in here, I can see. Uh -huh. Just a little dry area right in there. But it might, yeah, it might fall out. Perfect, you got it. Man, that just gleams. Now I always let my second coats drier longer than my first. That's just me. Did I get the whole thing? Yep, looks I mean, like it to me. It really looks good. It's a little dry right in here, but that may flow out because it flowed out on the vehicle. If you look real closely, just right there, you can see just ever so slightly. Right there? Yeah. There, you got it. Perfect. Yeah, but that's the bottom of the vehicle. You won't see that. This is what I can't get over. Yeah, that, that looks really good. And the black shows everything, too. Yeah, that, that came out magnificent. If it was white, you wouldn't see it. That looks good. Yeah, I, I would wait to clean the gun about 15 minutes. So. I think my brother ought to take his free liberty. I actually had to buy the guy a dinner. To get this but yeah maybe you ought to base clear that <laughs> yeah the truck is clean I, he lives miles down a dirt road but the dirt roads are really nice right now so the truck stayed clean i don't know why i locked it out here in the middle of nowhere now, we only painted this so he could get these edges so he could put it together and then he was going to do some body work here and paint this but i think it looks good enough to where you're just going to give it a light sand maybe with some 2000 grit and buff it and call it good i mean you know it's a minivan that 
he's gonna drive all the time so it's not like he's entering it in a car show let's uh that was two coats let's go over and take a look at the uh bumper of course let's take a look at the paint job here that's you can probably do a third coat on that now which we're gonna have leftover clear so we're just gonna clear this whole thing just to use it up you know it's either dump it out because it's got the hardener in it so it's either dump it out or use it yeah that looks like a finish my brother does mostly mechanical work he's not big on body work though he will do it so this is his first time spraying base clear it actually came out really 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 nice i mean there was some like little imperfections that showed up in the base but the clear has totally clear has totally covered those imperfections that were there it has yeah oh wow it did so i got this little sag right there to deal with which is nothing but this one's bad yeah well you're gonna have to sand that one very lightly and bump you might have to help me with that so i don't go through all right I'd only got two coats on it, right? So we're gonna have to go very lightly on it. Yeah, well let's if you go through we can re-clear just a spot. But I'll tell you what, Howard, this has turned out a lot better than I expected. Yeah, I'm impressed with it. I mean it doesn't wave, does it? No, it's, it's not it's, waving. There's a little waviness, but you really gotta get on an angle. Yeah, but I mean it because these I things feel, came from the factory like I that. Can, well it's all bent off. I don't think anybody really seen how bad this thing was tore up. I remember when you first tore it apart. When there was piles of stuff on your garage floor. Well, all that fish eye stuff or nothing. Well, so I got a ton of fish eye crap. Don't let anything happen to it no. because in the future it could be used. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that looks amazing. I wouldn't put a third coat. When you get it looking good, you leave it alone because sometimes you try and make it look better and you screw it. So I would definitely... Let's get this one out of here. Is that your transmission jack that it's sitting on? It is. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, Jeff, we were going to use that right there. But it didn't stay on it very well. I was afraid uh -huh. to knock it off. And what I did is I made a loop little block. It's very simple. It's just a 2x6 or 2x8 or whatever on a piece of OSB that holds it really nice. And I thought, well, that'll work because I can raise it up and down. I should have raised it up a little bit to do the bottom. I would wait a minimum of an hour before you try and move it. That looks so good. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I love that metallic black. It's just... I, I wish it, I hope it shows up in the video. It's just really a beautiful metallic black. I think we need to do a third coat on this. Lay it on there. Here, let me hold it. Let's shame the gun doesn't spray harder. That'll dry before it gets to my van, I take it, right? I would imagine. Because it's going to have an overspray city. Let's move it. Hold on. Let's push this out further, Howard. Let's see if we can get this. See how far you can go. Can you go that far? Oh, I can make you go that far. Here, where I put it on a little heavy, the milkiness is now going away, but it had a little milky look to it. All right, All let me get out of your other side so I don't get the overspray on you on your camera. <laughs> Do the hitch. Yeah, we might as well have a shiny hitch, huh? Oh, you got a lot of clear to paint. Paint it like it means something. Hey, you might want to get the green down there. Maybe it'll stay green, huh? 
<laughs> clear coat the clear coat the what do you want to call it that mold it's turning it black it might change might as well get the tongue all away I hope I'm holding this right I'm not screwing so I'm not a It's kind of got a green hue to it. It'll Don't. be interesting to see how this clear holds up over the rust dirt over the winter. and over the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't clean this, sand it, prep it, nothing. Here, I'll get your welds where you repaired the, the underside here. Make sure I get that spider web really good. So we well, you gotta get this that. spider web. Get that. Hold on. Let me show the camera the spider web. I don't know if I can see it or not. But well, we're gonna paint the spider web. <laughs> right over the dirt. <laughs> So you're going to have to post this as a painting lesson. Yep, this is how you paint a car. You just get your gun out and start shooting. You don't need to wash it. You don't need to mask Nothing. it. Should I bring a Liberty over here? Yep. And show them what we're really talking about and really paint a car? <laughs> There's a lot of paint in that gun yet, isn't there? Yep. Holy moly, I might be able to bring the Liberty over here. But I'd prefer to really wash that. Well, you don't want it to shine too much. No. You don't want to steal it. <laughs> right, steal that piece of junk. The Liberty we're talking about, by the way, I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't I think you can see it. it. Oh, you did? Yeah. But it's parked right there. And it's... uh. Got a butcher body work done to it because the doors are all rotted and what have you. And I just cut the rust out and welded some plate steel to it and called it a day. You got one more door to fix, so. Yes, I do. So this baby ought to winter pretty good now, huh? Yeah. Hey, clear coat my wood. It's body work at its best. Paint right oh, over the wood. That pretty cool clear coated. <laughs> wonder if when you burn it now, if it'll burn funny. Just don't breathe too much because it is blowing all around your head, but not that much. How much you got left? Oh, good lord, quite a bit yet. So that sprays okay with that little hose, doesn't it? Well, I kind of like the little hose because you can throw it, throw that, throw that hose over your shoulder. Never thought I'd see the day we'd do something like this to my wagon. Alright. I gotta breathe now. I'm holding <laughs> my breath. Yeah, right, we... I'm gonna hold it again. Do you want my you want me to get a mask? I mean No, a... I'm almost done and I can hold my breath when it's blown in my face. Okay. Yeah, I don't smell it, but I'm quite a ways from it. I can't get over there because you should see the clouds coming out of that. You probably, maybe you'll see it on the video. Oh, got to get the tailgate on the outside. Here, hold on. See if this is, see if I can stand it. Now it might tip back, Howard, so be careful.
Dirt. And the leaves. Over it. And the pieces of wood. Well, I think we're out of paint. Alright, cool deal. So we can go clean up then. Yep. Was that fun or what? Yeah, that was that's a nice gun and we with preserved. an expensive gun. Show everybody the high quality oh, nine dollar gun. Oh you did? <laughs> yeah. Nine dollars. Yeah. No, the nine dollars doesn't include the regulator. This is the plastic welder we used that I used to weld that front fascia together that we are showing you earlier. And what it is, this is this company. This is the cheapest welder they got. If you go to their website, you'll find out they got some really expensive, sweet welders. But this, you got the book of plastic, which tells you all the different types of plastics and how to, what temperatures and what rods to use, because all these rods are different for all different types of plastic. This is the welder. It's basically a soldering gun with the temperature setting. And if you look at that, these are all the different types of plastics, the abbreviations. So you set this, and what I was doing out there was PE, so I set the temperature right about there. I forget which plastic I was using. It was, I don't know, one of these. This here plastic, I think it was this plastic I was using. Right here, one of these white ones. Can't remember. But at any rate, and what this is is filler rod. And what you do with this, this is what you use to smooth stuff out. You weld it all together, and it's that's the strong part. This doesn't hold anything. What you do with this is kind of smear it all over the top. You heat it up and smear it everywhere and okay. sand it out. Kind of like your body filler. Kind of, yeah, plastic. yeah. It holds it together a little bit, but it isn't really what you weld anything together with. So but that's the welder I used. And I'll tell you what, it works really good. I've welded together a couple faces now. The one I just did, that van is the worst one that I welded. It was bad. <laughs> you had to weld stuff together on the Liberty too? Yep. Now that I had to buy a fascia for. I uh -huh. didn't try to weld that together, but all the plastic pieces that were all busted behind it, all the headlight brackets and all that are all plastic. You know, the cars are plastic everywhere. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we spent quality time, my buddy and I, he brought one of these over. That's how I found out about this was from Dustin. He came over and we spent quality time here drinking beer, welding plastic one night. And we welded that whole Liberty together. And it came out pretty good. Yeah. We got a clean gun. Clean $9 gun. All right, let's do this. Uh, For nine bucks, you could almost throw the gun away and buy a new one because a gallon of lacquer thinner costs way more than $9. That's what people do. <laughs> it's all dry to the touch now, every bit of it. What a beautiful paint job. We just turned a $10 trailer into a $500 trailer. Yeah, that came out really good. Good color match. I mean, this will buff. You can sand this edge off. Just lightly sand that and buff this. I wouldn't even buff that. I'd leave that alone. Just enough to read out. Like, I think just lightly sand that paint line and just buff this. I wouldn't try and do anything with that. It looks perfect. Really nice color match, everything. Huh? You wouldn't body work that at all? No. It's not worth it. Looks like a pretty damn good paint match from what I can see. Yeah, I would just lightly sand so you don't have an edge there. Is there much of an edge? Not really. Oh yeah, okay. And I mean, you could very, very let it dry for a while and yeah. just lightly yeah. sand it, buff it. Because and... it's still kind of tacky, if you want to call it. Yep. I gotta... That sucks. There's dry spots. Dry, dry, dry. I wonder if I can sand that. Yep, anymore. you can buff that. Shit, because it needed a shh. I probably, that was one of the areas I probably did Because it's nice all in here. Yep. Where I cut all that in first. But if I remember right, I probably didn't go, yeah, it's all flat down in there too. Well, just put a little clear in it when you're done after it's on and dry for about a all month. Right, let's do it. And just spray that. Yep. Should we go dig some dirt? Dig his gardens up?
You want to leave it running? Okay, right there, all right. Well, I'm on my way home from my brother's and I'm taking the scenic route because the road that I would normally take is under construction and down to one lane and the direction I need to go is closed and the detour is uh, significantly more out of the way than just taking this way so that's why I'm headed this way I get to see a little bit of uh, fall color on my way too so anyway if you like seeing the paint work playing with the paint gun and just kind of horsing around with it on the trailer we did get the bumper came out really nice we got that all done for the bumper cover I should say and uh, the little bit of fender so that'll that'll finish the van up you can get it back together it's a limited so it has extra chrome that part was quite expensive so that's why I decided to try and repair it save a little bit of money on repairs but Anyway, this this road here, I could turn on and take that back to catch the main road, but it's a dirt road and there's going to be a lot of people on it. And I think I'm just going to stay on this road and enjoy the drive. That so we're just going to head. I've taken this way in the Galaxy before when I come out to my brother's with it, and it's just a really spectacular drive. And Another thing too, Chris, uh, I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll copy and paste it into the description of this video. He, uh, he's been enjoying the Galaxy. I, he, in his last comment I asked him and the, told him a lot of you guys miss it, I miss it. A lot of you guys miss the Galaxy, so anyway, he left a comment about the Galaxy and like I said, I'll copy and paste it into the description here. So anyway, I'm going to end this video here beautiful drive home and going to enjoy it so you guys if you like this video definitely hit the like button it's, it just really helps in getting more views and earn a little bit more money I need money now that I to put back in my car hobby money since I purchased a rental house and uh, so yeah so I don't have a lot of extra cash for a project car right now, so I need all the help I can get. So hit the like button, share it with friends, do whatever you have to to get more views. And if you want to subscribe, that 348 engine icon that pops up there on the right will subscribe you to my channel. And thank you for watching my video. even do a little bit of Woodward Avenue and the F-150. I'm on my way home from my brother's though, so this is the, just the way I uh, get home. <laughs>